everyone. Um, I want to come on here again um, because most importantly, okay. <laughs> most importantly, um, I'm practicing my obedience towards the Lord. Um, I just felt in my spirit that the Lord was telling me a storm is coming. Um, I don't know if that means an actual storm or an event, um, but I did hear like a voice it's within daddy. my mind. It's daddy. It's daddy. That's daddy. Oh, good job. Keep coloring. Um, I I heard a voice like within my mind telling me there is a storm coming. This is the calm before the storm. There is a storm coming. And I pondered on it. Um, and I asked the Lord to give me confirmation if he wanted me to come on here and share this with you guys. And I asked him that if he wanted me to, that he would overwhelm me in the spirit, that I would feel it in my gut, my heart, um, my stomach, just this overwhelming. Oh, she wants to show you her picture. See? That's daddy right there. Um, that he would give me an over, uh, overwhelm me in the spirit. And I did receive this overwhelming, um, this in this, I felt very overwhelmed in the spirit. And the reason why I'm coming on here is because earlier today, about two hours ago, maybe two and a half hours now, I was outside sitting in my um, chair and I didn't actually hear sirens, but like spiritually, I heard sound, sirens as if you were to hear um, a tornado warning. And I'm like, interesting, um, but I didn't do anything about it. And then about an hour later, I am on YouTube and I seen that um, that Alaska ended up having a 7.5 earthquake. And there was a video of sirens and uh, a tsunami warning. And so I'm like, wow. Like, I feel as if the Lord was telling me that there was going to be something like that. And yeah. so this is the reason why I'm coming on here. And I just want to share, and I, I just ask that um, those who can to please um, discern this, um, give me your input, your feedback on this. Um, I'm just curious if anybody else has had this gut feeling, um, have also felt the, the, this as well. Um, now I'm not saying, oh my gosh, you guys, God is telling me there's going to be a storm and you need to be warned and that's not what I'm doing. Um, I'm just mainly coming on here and practicing my obedience um, because of what had happened earlier um, and the confirmation that I felt I had from Jesus. So if you can, I would very much appreciate um, you to, to uh, give me your feedback, to discern this if you can, and let me know what you think. I want to tell those that I'm not coming on here. See? Beautiful. I'm not coming on here to um, spread fear. In fact, um, as these events going on around us take place, I get excited because that means for us that we are that much closer to Jesus and going home. We have peace and protection and joy in these moments if you do not have jesus now is the time it is imminent meaning he can come any moment any second any day now um how do you get saved it is as simple as the abcs a child can do it um it is a admit you are a sinner in need of a savior b believe that jesus christ is the son of God and that he died on the cross for your sins, past, present, and future. And
and that God rose him from the dead three days later. And C, confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. It is as simple as that. Having childlike faith, seeing it as for what it is, and believing it, not complicating it. The what ifs and all those things are the enemy trying to keep you astray from the truth. It is simple. The gospel is as simple as the ABCs. Mom? That's beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I know for a fact that uh, Jesus is at the door. Um, I actually had a dream a few months ago. I'm not exactly sure how many months ago. Um, but. I fell asleep and it was a short dream and there was a line of doors and in my dream I'd hear knock, knock, knock and I'd open the door and I would see this face, which I believed was an angel. And he excitingly was saying, Jesus is coming. And then I'd shut the door and I'd hear a knock on the other door and I'd open it up and I'd see this angel again and Jesus is coming. And it was like that with the whole line of doors in my dream, and then I woke up, and then the dream was over. Again, my little uh, two-year-old right here, uh, one of not many words, she's starting to have many words now, but at the time she had very few words, and my Nana had, okay, my my Nana had uh, told me to show her a paint, this painting of Jesus that this little girl had painted years ago. And she's never seen, uh, I've never shown her this painting before. She's never really seen pictures of Jesus other than what has been in cartoons, um, which, you know, this picture that I showed her was very um, detailed. And it, any t- every time I look at it too, it's like, I just sit there and I'm like, wow. Like, that looks like a man, but that looks, this man, like, doesn't look, spiritually, he looks more than just a man, and just this painting. And so I show her this picture, and as soon as I show it to her, she gets this smile on her face. And I'm like, do you know who this is? She goes, yeah. I said, who is this? She goes, Jesus. I said shocked at that point i was shocked because i've never shown her this picture before and so then i ask her does jesus talk to you and she again nods her head and says yes and i asked her what does jesus say to you she replies back to me i'm coming blew me away because god speaks in many different ways he has so many signs that he is giving us within nature, within politics, within people's visions and dreams. And and he even speaks to us through our children. So be excited and know that our King Jesus is at the door and he is coming. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and that you are filled with peace and joy, and love, and happiness, and comfort in these times. Do not fear. So have a great night, you guys, and I will be on whenever I feel led to come on.